You know, I, I could take all day and I'd love to, but I want to pivot to one other thing, take us back to the 30,000 foot level. And we've seen a preview of what a President Trump would do on the global stage. You know, you mentioned TPP and such. What do, would our allies think if if th- that particular president got reelected again? And I'm, I'm projecting pretty far in the future here, but these discussions are going on right now, certainly in Japan. Depends on the ally. So let's keep in mind that there were some allies that liked Trump a lot more than Biden. Uh, I'm I'm thinking about, um, you know, Poland, uh, Hungary, which is a NATO ally, even though they don't always act like it. Yep. Um, Certainly Saudi Arabia, uh, not Israel under Bibi, the UAE um, and maybe maybe Modi and India, maybe, though it's close. Uh, so, I mean, those are some countries that would be perfectly happy, very comfortable if Trump comes back. Um, the Canadians uh, would be verklempt. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Japanese would be distressed. The South Koreans would be quite distressed. Uh, the mainstream Europeans would be very upset. Um, now, uh, one thing that a lot of people say and I think is not true is that, well, this time around, if Trump wins, he's so he's gotten so crazy he's going to get horrible only horrible people will join with him so it'll be a dumpster fire of an administration that's not true Mm -hmm. i think if if he gets the nomination i think the whole gop with a few exceptions are going to get behind him and i think a lot of very competent people will join his his cabinet yeah um because they want power uh and so i i think it'll be trump too will be more capable of breaking things because they'll be more experienced And so you'll see that in terms of hollowing out and creating more loyalty among individual departments in the United States. That'll have more domestic policy implications because he cares about that more. Um, On the foreign policy side, he doesn't do very much. Uh, And what he does is volatile, uh, but it also is constrained by his own cabinet, by his advisors. Uh, And we see that with Putin. I mean, people saying that, you know, suddenly... Uh, Trump would like make an alliance with Putin. No, he he was prevented from doing that by everybody last time around. Yeah, he had that embarrassing summit meeting with Putin in Helsinki and then nothing happened because Pompeo and Fiona Hill and all of the rest of them said, no, we're not we're not playing that. Yeah. And uh, I do think that that would limit U.S. aid for Ukraine. Absolutely. I, I think that's a that's a danger of a Trump administration coming in. Um, but it, it's not like NATO would suddenly fall apart. Um, and so, uh, look, I think the big problem is the lack of confidence, the lack of coherence um, in working with the United States. If you're an ally that really is worried about Trump and and that in a in a period of crisis. And remember, Trump, when he was president, didn't have any crises. Yeah. Uh, but he would this time around. That would make it much more dangerous.